Hello, this is Travis for Sliver Surfer 1. So I moved my 3D printer the other day, uh, just a little bit, and it threw my whole bed out of whack. What it had done is it made my bed too low, and the prints skidded off. They slid right off. They had lots of lots of uh, brim. It's, this is what, it, what happened. They had lots of brim on them, but they slid off because it was too low, and it didn't grip properly, so or it was uneven and you know anyways so I'll show you how to adjust your bed properly today what you got to do first is I've already got this preheated uh, it's best to get it warmed up first so what you do is you go to quick settings go down to preheat for whatever you using I always use PLA okay click on that and it'll set it up it'll start as soon as you click on it it'll start uh, going off so then I you know I'll go home all just to make sure my printer head goes back out of the way my extruder head so we'll go back we see once it gets up to the temperature you want it to. What I'll do is I will go to quick settings again and you can go cool down back up to your main thing and you can see it's cooling down s slowly. All right so then we can go to quick settings again and then disable stepper okay so the steppers are disabled now but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shut off my machine just so there's no noise okay so now that we have it off I'm going to just use a regular piece of paper Okay, and I'll show you how thick it is. It's 0 0.09 or 0 0.1 is what you want, so 0 0.09 is pretty good. It's exactly how you want it with the micrometer. This is just a piece of printer paper. We slide this across and we can feel there's a little bit of friction here. If you move it back and forth and you can feel friction, that's good. We'll move it over to this side slowly. You don't want to move it too much. It kind of acts as a generator. I've seen it. And this has not very much friction at all. Okay. So what we'll do is I'll move this aside a tiny bit. We'll get a Phillips screwdriver. Loosen the nut down here a little bit. And then we go lefty loosey and that'll back this up a bit and we go lefty loosey until this starts to bite okay and you feel that's too much and just back away until there you can hear that right so you can hear it just grabbing and then we tighten that up tighten up sorry then we tighten up the, the nut so it doesn't move and we'll go back here again not too fast and you can see this is a little bit tighter now because we move this side up so what I'll do is I'll loosen the wing nut down here the wing nut that's down here loosen it and then so this is too tight so I'll go righty tighty which is I'll, go, I'll turn it clockwise which moves the bed away from it so that's too much and we'll go left we'll go. there we go counterclockwise there well oh, too much And 
and make sure that you uh, test it while you don't have the screwdriver in there. There we go. That's perfect. It's you can just hear the the movement of it, and then we'll we'll tighten the screw back up. Okay, we can feel that. Okay. So next, what we'll do is we'll bring the bed forward and while we got the, the bed moving forward make sure we just make sure it's not scraping on there and there is a lot of space back there all right so I'll loosen the wing nut on it and if there's a lot of space and then I have to loosen here to get it tighter. Okay, so it's tight all the way. It's really tight now. There we go. It's perfect. It's moving just a little bit. And then I'll uh, tighten the wing nut back up on that. Now let's move this over slowly. And let's see. There's too much, so move this over just enough that we get we'll loosen this. Yeah, loosen the wing not first. We'll loosen this until we get. Okay, you can hear that. You can, and, and the good thing is being able to get your paper under there. If it won't go under there, then you know it's too tight. And then get this tightened up in the back. The back's good. So I'll move this forward again. And we'll test the front again just because we want it okay so this is a little bit isn't tight enough again there we go so you can't get it under I mean it was too loose so we just keep going around Perfect, you can get it under. All right, now let's go over here. One more time and I think we're done. Yeah, see that? You can hear it. And it goes right under. So there you go. We'll move this back to the home position. I took off my fan to do this work so I'm just gonna put it back on because you don't uh, you want, don't want to print without that thanks for watching and if you subscribed thank you very much for subscribing mm -hmm.